Welcome to my Rainbow Kitchen. My name is Julia and I am here to show you how easy it is to eat a whole foods plant-based diet using the Thermomix. And today I want to show you how to make a recipe from the cook I do. It's called Sticky Sesame Chicken and instead of the chicken I'm going to use um, tofu and I'm going to make a couple other substitutions to make sure that it stays uh, whole food plant-based and also vegan. So let's get started. First step is preheat oven to 200 degrees Celsius, that's about 400 degrees Fahrenheit. So I'm going to go set my toaster oven for that temperature. And next is line a baking tray with some aluminum foil. I'm going to use parchment paper and then place a large bowl onto the mixing bowl lid and measure 800 grams of chicken into it. So I already have a bowl here and this is, um, this is about 8 ounces of tofu which comes about 200 grams. Place simmering basket onto mixing bowl lid and measure 250 grams of jasmine rice. Now I have basmati rice instead of jasmine rice. Should work out the same. Then rinse rice under running water until it runs clear. So I will be right back. All right, we're done with that. So then the next step is 1,000 gram of waters into the mixing bowl. Tablespoon of salt, I'm gonna skip that because I don't use salt in my cooking. And now I'm gonna put the simmering basket with the rice in here. Then we'll put the lid on. And then the aroma dish. And we're gonna put 180 grams of, chick of carrots. Um, and I've pre-weighted those. And then put the lid on the tray in place. And here we're gonna add 100 grams of sugar snap piece and then we'll add the aroma lid we're going to cook this for 13 minutes i'm actually going to adjust this to 15 minutes because my rice takes a tad bit longer and then that's select like four um, and i made this dish the other day with um, cauliflower instead of the chicken and it was also very delicious so the recipe recommends that at this point uh, we actually move on to the next step, which is cooking the chicken. You take your chicken, you would make a mixture of uh, corn flour and some spices, toss the chicken, and then put it in the oven for 10 to 12 minutes. So I'm just going to use the spices, which is a half a teaspoon of pepper and two teaspoons of paprika. And so I'm just going to toss those over my tofu cubes. And then I'm going to add this to my preheated toaster oven um, and cook these for the next uh, 10 to 12 minutes until this is all done and then I will go check on And you just want to make sure whether you're using chicken or cauliflower or like tofu uh, that it's, it's coated with the spices, coated with uh, the corn flour if that's what you're using and that it's uh, on a, in a single layer on whatever tray or cookie sheet you're using to, to bake it. So I will be back in 15 minutes, well now we're down to less than 13 minutes when all of this is done. Alrighty, so I'm back. Let's click on next here. It says transfer vegetables in a thermal thermal serving bowl or other large bowl. Um, and I'll show you real quick. So here's the peas and then here are the carrots. And what I'm just gonna do is I'm gonna put it aside here. Step is remove the simmering basket with a spatula and set it aside with the vegetables. So while the vegetables sit there, I checked on my tofu before I came here and it's looking good. I'm gonna leave it in the toaster oven while I finish up the sauce just because I like the like it to be a little more crispy. Now it talks through the steps of how to prepare the chicken. So I skipped all of that and I just simply took some tofu and added the paprika and the black pepper and I'm baking that in the toaster oven at 200 degrees Celsius, 400 degrees Fahrenheit until I'm finished here. So now two garlic cloves, I have three here because you know how it is with garlic. And we're going to turn this on to speed seven to chop the garlic small. And here's our garlic. I'm going to take a spatula and push this all down. This is actually going to be cooked down quite a bit more. Now we're going to add 30 grams of rice wine vinegar. 
than 60 grams of honey. And I'm not going to use honey. You could use uh, maple syrup at the same amount, but I want to use uh, dates. Now we need 20 grams of sweet chili sauce, and I made a sweet chili sauce earlier, also using dates for sweetening. And I'm going to add a few tablespoons, teaspoons of this. Uh, 60 grams of tomato sauce. I don't actually have tomato sauce in the tip of yours. There's a cook I do on how to make your own tomato sauce. So I'm just going to use some uh, tomato paste and then add a little bit of extra water. And now we're going to have another 30 grams of brown sugar. And so instead of that, I'm going to add another date. Another 50 grams of water. Uh, now I'm going to need 50 grams of soy sauce. And then 20 grams of sesame seed. And I'm actually going to wait until I cooked the sauce to add the sesame seeds and then cook it a little bit longer just because I added the dates. I want to be able to, sh to be sure at the end to uh, blend it at a high speed if need be. Um, and if I add the sesame seeds now, they would get all mashed up and I don't want that. Let's place the simmering mat instead of the measuring cup under the mixing bowl lid. I'm going to use the splash card instead. And it's going to cook it for six minutes at 120 degrees Celsius. And cook until the, the sauce is thickened. Um, the dates should take care of the sickening, so we'll see you know, what it looks like. I'm going to go check on my tofu, um, make, make, uh, turn it, move it around a little bit, and then I'll be back when this is done. Alrighty, so I'm back here. Let's see, take a look. Looks like there's still a little, you know, there's some chunks of um, date. The sauce overall is nice and thick, which is what you expect. The dates themselves act as a thickener because they have quite a bit of starch in them, and the starch uh, gets bigger as you cook it. So I'm going to um, make sure the temperature is turned down, and then I'm going to turn this up to say a speed eight. To make sure that the dates all get chopped up. To me, that sounds like that should have been a pretty good job of getting that all. So it's a nice thick sauce. I'm gonna go back one step here. Now add my 20 grams of sesame seeds. Dash more uh, water to it just to thin it down a little bit. And this one too. And I'll be back in one minute. Alrighty, so here we are. We cook that for another minute. So now you can see it's a nice thick sauce. Lots of sesame in here. So as I toss the chicken in the sauce, and then uh, you know divide the rice and vegetables and top with the chicken. So I will then garnish with some green onions or uh, spring onions and shallots. So I will be back. I will plate the dish and then I will be back to show you. Alrighty, so here you can see my plate. I have the rice down here, then I, this is all of the, the green bean, the, the green peas, so the entire 100 grams. And this is about half of the carrots, and then this is all of the all of the cauliflower that I made. Uh, there's still plenty of rice left, you know, there'll just be some leftover rice that I'll put in the refrigerator and have with another meal, and you know, I might just eat the, the uh, carrots. Let's give this a taste and see what we think here. It's good. It's real good. Um, I think maybe you could use a little bit more heat. So you know, next time I might add a little bit of extra uh, chili garlic sauce or something like that, just to increase the heat factor a little bit. I don't know that the tofu is even necessary. You could just eat this with the sauce with the vegetables. Um, I think the when I made it the other day with the cauliflower, that was definitely quite delicious. Thanks for joining me in my Rain People kitchen. I'm going to show you how easy it is to eat a whole food plant based lifestyle I'm using the Thermomix. Um, today I showed you how to make a version of a stick. I uh, basically make a sticky sesame tofu with uh, green peas and carrots. And uh, thanks so much for joining me. Please remember to like and subscribe. That really helps me grow this channel. I'm looking to get to a thousand subscribers on YouTube so that I can uh, do live streams. And if you want to learn more about how the Thermomix can fit into your kitchen, then I have a video on the, uh, the process, how that works out. Uh, you know, check that out or just send me a, a direct message, contact me and we'll get you scheduled. I can do, the, I can work with anybody within the US, 
And if you're local to me here in California, I will even come to your house to do it.